1968. Mm -hmm. It's 2018. Yeah. It's 50 years later. 50 years after the Civil Rights Movement. And you don't recognize that my civil rights and the civil rights of my sons are being violated. After every video and every email where I have documented that you did not give me notice and opportunity to be heard in 2011, when you fraudulently arrested me and served me the dissolution at the same moment, ouch, when you reissued the protection order where I was not convicted of the crime of domestic violence or violating the protection order, I inform you of that yesterday that I'm suing you for each of those court hearings and after 50 years of civil rights, you don't understand what a fucking crime. 50 years. Now, the population bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of millions of people are going to starve to death. Oh, Ehrlich's book. Yes. Ehrlich, now 85, told me recently the book's main contribution to make population control acceptable <laughs> as a topic of debate. Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, have some sort of legislation <laughs> where America is going to become a two-child-only uh, nation because of the population concerns. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about some women that I want to have them wear panties. Mm -hmm. And the thought was, well, those that I interview that are butterfly kisses, yes, mm -hmm. they're going to have a spirituality and it doesn't necessarily involve Christianity. Yes. And for most of them, it's the uh, one or two children that they have because of building the nation. Yeah. But there are some women that I'm going to give a lot of children to. I'm going to keep them pregnant for a decade. <laughs> now, what you don't understand is a gestation and lactation actually <laughs> volunteer to be in the office as volunteers. They're not actually employees. <laughs> The thought of uh, a gestating, eight-month pregnant woman that happens to have my baby in her belly is going to want to help the employees come to work because of the eroticism of a pregnant woman's body. Fifteen days a month during gestation from approximately the fifth month of gestation until the time of the birth. Which they're going to agree that they want their pregnant bodies to be the stimulation of the employees that come to work. Then there's the whole thought of lactation. You know, most women, they nurse a baby and men get to participate in the lactation of fathering a child. But I'm going to ask them to allow for the actual amount of milk that their mammary glands to produce that the employees would want to help them produce twice as much milk. <laughs> because of the lactation. Mm -hmm. Now I have this theory, yes. Let's say you're a woman, you give birth to a child, you nurse that child for approximately 18 months. <laughs> but what if your breasts produce twice as much milk because other women found <laughs> the lactation of a woman's breast stimulating? Yes. <laughs> and uh, it caused an additional cup size of the expansion of the actual breast itself to take place during the... thought is mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that if women help women lactate <laughs> because of how their breasts expel the milk, yes, <laughs> what you thought was a two to three cup increase in the size of your actual breast because of, <laughs> well, the second month and the sixth month, pooch, <laughs> it could be closer to three to four cups depending upon the amount <laughs> because I <laughs> 